What is up, guys? This is your. This is your, what's up, my arch fiends of chaos. This is your. <laughs> this is your king of the night. This Valentine the extra Sorry, bloober moment. But anyways, um, I want to talk about a subject. It's called um. Well, let's talk about canon and non-canon. What is canon? What do you think when you think canon? You know. What do you think when you think canon? Let me move this a little bit. I'm actually going to start using this like this. There it goes. Okay, what do you think when you think canon? What I think canon, I think um, stuff that's made by the official story person, the storyboard, uh, so made by the official story, the thing that's inspired, that creates non-canon, but it's like the original story where you could base off of. Now, I, like I said, I took some creative creative writing, writing classes, and even in college, when I was still in, you know, college, you know, I was still in college, so, I mean, and this is when I was still is, but anyways, back to the letter, um, canon is more the basis of the original inspired story is, you know, I don't know how to put it this way, um, it's really hard. I gotta put other media in this, but okay. Think of like the Star Wars novels. There's one set of novels that's approved by Disney as canon now. Then there's ones that's not approved, so it's non-canon. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know. But it doesn't mean that non-canon isn't good. It's an interpretation, and sometimes non-canon stuff could even be a little bit better than the canon material. Some. Uh, in some cases, it could be better than the it could be better than the than the canon stuff. Now, the reason why I need to separate both of them is just some people think that can they get confused and think, oh, this must be canon because this makes more sense. But you know, if it's not made by the storyboard creators, then it then oh, the storyboard creators don't approve of that stuff. Then it wouldn't be canon, but let's just say, for the for 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 the, for the sake of argument, let's just say I read a good Final Fantasy, let's see, seven novel, and Square Enix approves of it and puts a stamp of approval saying this is canon. Then it's canon, but if if not, if it does not get approved, then it would be nothing more than fan fiction or non-canon material. Not to say non, not to say that um fan fiction is bad. Fan fiction is good. In fact, almost everything that you see. Is actually inspired from fan fiction. If you really look at it, all your popular movies out there is actually based off fan fiction. Fan fi I, you know, don't ever bash on someone who writes fan fiction, especially good fan fiction. So and this is not about fan fiction at all, right? At this point, this is actually, you know, I mean, you get the point. It's like, you know, so, uh, everything is inspired by. It. I'm just saying that sometimes, yeah, even if sometimes. I mean, I like the writing of non-canon stuff because it's like an alternative way of looking at things. And for, let's just be quite honest, we could actually use some novels about Final Fantasy XV to explain everything in the ending in the most alternative way possible to give us answers in Final Fantasy XV. I mean, that would be a good and swell idea if they could actually do that. But I'm just saying that doesn't mean that non can stuff is no good or anything like that. It's just not official. It's just not officially made by the people. It's not going to be pushed out there as much as canon stuff. Be you know? I mean, even if you do get the rights to the creator's stuff to make fan fiction, like, I l like you know, like, I think, the let's see, like, besides the audiobooks that are, like, kind of canon-ish, which would be like, um, let's see, what's that one of the, so with, uh, the live stream and one way to smile and, you know, the one that livestream.net does, those would be kind of canned. MJ Gallagher's A New Threat, um, The Man in the Black Cape, you know. And those kind of um, novels will not be called canon, but does not mean they're no good. It still is good. I read all of the N.J. Gallagher stuff because they, I mean, he has a novels you can download for free. Now, it will cost if you want a paperback. If you want a paperback sent to you in the mail, it will cost you money, like $16, 
to get a, a, a paperback and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it does not mean that non-canon is... Non-canon can be sometimes explain things that canon cannot explain. If anything, canon... I mean, I mean anything, non-canon has an alternative way of explaining it. And sometimes fans can explain things a lot better than the content creators. I don't know if that makes sense, but even with that... You know, it's just an alternative story that you can read to add with your canon to make it even a lot more better and answer your questions for you because some things are left to interpretation. If anything, in Final Fantasy and in Final Final Fantasy games, well, there's a lot of questions that's always unanswered. You know, there's always you you could just look deep in it. Even the best Final Fantasies have some holes, some plot holes you can't eat that, that you that when you look into them, you see it. But the point I'm trying to say is that the difference between non-canon and canon really is is that canon is inspired in the official and the original story. As non-canon is an interpretation added by other people that are probably most likely fans who spend money on writing these novels. I mean, I kind of want... You know, I've actually changed my dream. I actually want to start writing non-canon Final Fantasy 7 novels later on in life. That's why I want to get big on YouTube and get money off of YouTube so I can actually, you know, I mean, as well as get me a better position in my job and so I can fund my, so I can fund my, the novel I wanted to make, but that's not the point. The point is, non-canon could be a more, an alternative story and a, and, a, and a different interpretation of what could happen or what is happening or what does happen in a way where it, you know, it, it appeals to the fans, but it's still not considered the official source. As canon is the official source, you know, it's the official, it's the definitive source because it's the official one. It's written by the original story craze. It's written by. It's not fan fiction if it's if it's originally written, and that's where can and you know and all this. All the stuff now, not to say that anything, again, like I said, fan, everything's inspired by something. You know, you cannot go out your life saying, well, this is a copycat of this, this is a copycat of this, this is a copycat. Everything's inspired by something, okay? Everything is. Everyone has inspiration to make what they did, you know? Final Fantasy games influence are influenced by Star Wars, Dungeons and Dragons, and some other stuff. You know, but everything's inspired by something. You can't create nothing without being influenced by something else. What I'm trying to say is that people who bash on non-canon stuff are just stupid and they're just having a waste of time. Because the way I see it, it's just an interpretation, an interpretation that is different from what the source material says that could either make a lot of sense or make no sense, depending on your interpretation. Now, I'm going to be running a little bit over on my uh, iPad since I'm recording this on my iPad, so I think I'm going a little bit over and, you know, with the space capacity. But let me tell you again, Ken is the original source, the approved source materials. Non-canon is the non-approved source materials, but still could answer a lot of questions that the canon material have left out. And that's pretty much what I got to talk about is canon right here. And may the crystal be with you. Please like and subscribe. Share this video if you liked it. Do all that. That'd be nice too. That'd help me out too. And sorry I look a mess. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I just got out of work, so... And just changed into my workout clothes. So may the crystal be with you. See you guys another time.